109 East Palace, Robert Oppenheimer and the Secret City of Los Alamos, by Janet Conant is a meticulously researched and engrossing account of the development of the atomic bomb during World War II, focusing on the clandestine community of scientists, engineers, and support staff who congregated in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Conan's book provides a unique and captivating window into this pivotal chapter of history. Conan's narrative revolves around the enigmatic figure of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the brilliant physicist who spearheaded the Manhattan Project. She uses the residence at 109 East Palace in Santa Fe as a central thread, as it served as the gateway to Los Alamos, where all project personnel had to report upon arrival. This physical location metaphorically represents the portal into a world of scientific innovation, secrecy, and moral dilemmas. One of the book's most compelling aspects is its exploration of the multifaceted characters that populated Los Alamos. Conant brings to life a diverse cast of scientists and their families, each with their unique perspectives, motivations, and experiences. These individuals were brought together by a shared commitment to their country and the belief that the atomic bomb was a necessary evil to end the war. Conan's character-driven approach humanizes the scientists, revealing their anxieties, passions, and the weight of their monumental task. The book masterfully captures the ambience of Los Alamos, which Conant describes as a paradoxical blend of secrecy and openness. The isolation of the compound, nestled in the mountains, created a bubble in which the outside world seemed distant. Yet, within this enclave, ideas flowed freely, fostering an atmosphere of collaboration and innovation. Conant conveys the excitement of scientific discovery and the camaraderie that developed in this surreal environment, where ordinary individuals accomplished extraordinary feats. While 109 East Palace primarily focuses on the scientific aspects of the Manhattan Project, it does not shy away from addressing the moral and ethical dilemmas that hung over the scientists' heads. Conant presents Oppenheimer as a complex character, deeply committed to his work but also burdened by the consequences of creating a weapon of mass destruction. The book delves into the debates and concerns among the scientists regarding the use of the bomb, particularly in light of the devastation caused in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Moreover, Conant explores the role of women in the Manhattan Project, shedding light on their often overlooked contributions. Many scientists' wives were highly educated and played crucial support roles, such as managing households and organizing social events that eased the stresses of life in the secret city. Conant's narrative emphasizes the vital but frequently uncelebrated roles these women played in the success of the project. The narrative occasionally strays from the main storyline, delving into personal anecdotes and tangential historical events. While these diversions provide depth and context, they can at times disrupt the book's flow. Nonetheless, Conan's rich storytelling compensates for these minor deviations. 109 East Palace is not just a historical account, it also resonates with contemporary relevance. The book's exploration of the ethical dilemmas faced by scientists and policymakers remains pertinent in the age of advanced technology, where questions of morality and responsibility continue to challenge society. The legacy of Los Alamos raises important questions about the role of science in warfare and the moral responsibilities of those who harness its power. In conclusion, Janet Conant's 109 East Palace offers a compelling and vivid exploration of the development of the atomic bomb and the community of scientists who made it possible. The book's character-driven narrative, its portrayal of the secret city's unique ambience, and its consideration of the ethical dilemmas surrounding the Manhattan Project make it a captivating and thought-provoking read. 
It serves not only as a historical account but also as a reflection on the enduring moral questions raised by the pursuit of scientific progress.